Another application of uniform circular motion analysis is in banked curves. We've probably all had some experience with banked curves on a highway when you're taking a turn at a fairly high speed. If the roadway is banked so that it's tilted into the center of the turn, then you don't feel any sideways force holding you onto the road. Basically what's happening is the downward push of the slope will hold you into the turn if the angle is chosen just right for the speed and radius of curvature of the turn, there won't be any tendency to accelerate in the vertical direction, up or down, but it'll all be horizontally toward the center of the circle. So it's an engineering problem to find out what is the optimum banking angle for a roadway given the speed that a car takes a turn and the radius of the turn. So let's see how we analyze that. We're going to characterize this slope again by the angle beta and what we're looking at here, so it's an engineering problem to find out what is the optimum banking angle for a roadway given the speed that a car takes a turn and the radius of the turn. So let's see how we analyze that. We're going to characterize this slope again by the angle beta, and what we're looking at here is a car on a turn. It's going to be accelerating into the center of the turn, so in this drawing that's directly to the left horizontally. The car is moving away from us. So the net force is radially inward, that's the direction of the acceleration. It's horizontal. If you pick the proper angle, then there will be no friction necessary, no friction between the tires and the road necessary to keep the car in the curved path. What we'd like to do is find that angle beta given the speed and the radius. So we'll draw a free body diagram for the vehicle. We of course have the weight acting down with magnitude mg. The only other force acting on the object is the normal force applied by the surface of the roadway. In the y and x direction, vertical and horizontal direction, the magnitudes of the x and y components are related to the magnitude of the normal force itself, trigonometrically by the cosine and sine functions. And also we know something about these forces, that they're related to the weight of the vehicle. The vertical direction's forces have to exactly cancel. So that means that the vertical component of the normal force has to be exactly opposite the vertical component of the weight force. So we know then that the n cosine beta is equal to mg. The n sine beta then provides the entirety of the centripetal force for the system, so that has to be mv squared over r. We can link together our knowledge of the x and y coordinates because well, they're sine and cosine, but when we combine sine and cosine, we can say that the tangent of the angle beta as drawn here is the x component of the normal force divided by the y component of the normal force. 